And we received an email from Jake in Reno, Nevada, who writes, I had an ingrown toenail and I pulled it out myself. Ouch, he didn't write that, I just said that. <laughs> the next day I went to the pool with friends. Ooh, now my toe has started to swell and I'm in pain. Pus and blood are coming out. Is it infected? <laughs> Jake, it's a pretty good bet. Join us now, podiatrist Dr. Ali Kasrobadi. So, Doc, I mean, these are not uncommon. It sounds like a lot of things were done here by Jake, maybe not the best steps, but, but talk to us, first of all, about how common these ingrown toenails are and the infections that, that can come along with them. Well, ingrown toenails are very common. In my practice, I see them uh, almost on a daily basis. So anytime we, we see the nail um, invading the skin, the, the body sees that as a foreign object and it starts an inflammatory process and then most often infection. In this case, the patient went and uh, pulled it out and went into a swimming pool, which we normally tell mm -hmm. patients, do not get your foot wet if you have any open lesions. And most often, uh, those cases become infected. And if there's pus coming out and it's red hot swollen, it's for sure infected, yeah. So I wanna, I wanna answer this in two parts. First of all, let's just say someone believes they're developing an ingrown toenail. I don't know if, folks in the audience have had these, but they can be incredibly painful. But initially, you may not notice a lot of inflammation or redness. It's just starting to really hurt. What can you do before you get to Jake's point? Is there something early on in that stage that you can do to prevent it from moving on to a, a true infection where you potentially even have to remove the toenail? Um, I would say, for the most part, if you have any signs of uh, the ingrown toenail, there's increased pain, swelling, and redness in that area, I would definitely seek um, to see a specialist because most often when you have pain in that area and you try to play around and try to mm, pull out the nail from the side of the nail, because you have pain, you're not successful at it. So you end up leaving behind a piece of nail and that can uh, cre um, create more infection and make the situation even worse. So when you come to our office, what we usually do is we give you some numbing medication to numb the toe, then we can remove that border of the nail completely out, that subsides the, the inflammation and the infection goes away and, and you're good. I can't believe he attempted to do this himself without any, any <laughs> anesthesia. Can you imagine? I mean, that's like torture right. on, exactly. on your toes oh. yeah. doing that. And, and like, Certain things, when you're clipping your toenails, should you clip them certain ways? Like, what are some things you can do to prevent ingrown toenails? You shouldn't toenail? see blood, let me tell you that. <laughs> when you see, when you trim your toenails, you see blood, or work on your time. cuticles, you should not see blood. Yes. Say, that, uh, say yeah. that to the person last time I got a pedicure. <laughs> see, like, wow, it hurts. Yeah. Is that bleeding? That's not <laughs> what? I mean, and when, they, and when they're buffing the bottom of your foot to get all that callus off, I mean, if you like need a skin graft afterwards, I mean, <laughs> but, but all of this is important because yeah. you could be setting yourself up for an infection if you cut exactly. your toenails the wrong way yeah, or I mean, the wrong person, right? Yeah. What I would usually suggest is um, if you're cutting your own toenail, just make sure uh, you cut it straight across. Make sure the edges are out of the skin because when, once you round these corners, um, if, you, if you don't do a good job and you leave a little bit of the nail, uh, when the nail grows out, it gets caught in the corner and then that causes an uh, ingrown toenail. Good tip. And yeah. if I could add one more thing, I never knew how many ingrown toenails I would see in the emergency department, but when these <laughs> things become inflamed, they hurt. I'm sure. And, and so prevention is key. The one other thing I would just add is wider toe boxes. The shoes we wear nowadays, I'm sure as a podiatrist, you try to tell your patients this, we cram our feet into shoes They're that are so about cute. half as wide as our foot. <laughs> and that's, I mean, not just for ingrown toenails, but yeah. for everything else. Yeah. I'm sure as a podiatrist, you battle this every day with your patients, but if you're even developing what you think may be an ingrown toenail, Give them some space. Probably, <laughs> Give them a rest. probably not stilettos. Right. You but would, toe yeah. cleavage is very important. We were just talking about breast cleavage. Now it's toe cleavage. That's oh my very, gosh! Just giving them cleavage. All those stilettos. And unlike going to a public pool, you know, sticking your your toe in in warm water at home that's sterile can be good. All things like that, right? But just right. anytime you have something like this, the last thing you want to do is be going around walking out in public areas, potentially making the infection worse. And uh, if you're not sure, just make an appointment with Dr. Kasrabadi or someone else who knows how to take care of these. Don't pull your toenail out, Jake. I'm sorry, Jake, but just don't please. That's, that's, it's, it's hard to even 
think about. Painful. <laughs> yeah. 